Fellas, hello, weary YouTube traveler. I see that you have been searching for the finest video on this platform, endlessly trudging through mountains and deserts of content. Do not worry. Here, sip from this empty monster can that lay before you, shall we? <laughs> Suddenly, a genie emerges from the can. <laughs> Fool, you have awoken me from 1,000 years of slumber, and I am here to offer you 10 wishes. That's right. For instance, nothing bad will ever happen to you. And you could take that, and nothing bad will ever happen to you again. However, there is always a drawback. There is always a downside. I'm gonna give you 10 prompts, and you have to decide whether or not you wanna take the prompts. Once you decide, I'm gonna lift the veil, and then we're gonna decide if it's a W or an L. If you get three Ls, you die. However, if you defeat the shitty genie, I'll give you 25 gifties. I determine what is a W or an L, okay? Can we agree on this? Oh. Oh, it seems that we can. Okay. I'm shaking Chad's hand. If you're on YouTube, you have no part of this. <laughs> you are fools but to challenge me. However, you will make for fun playthings. The, the shitty genie is messing up his words a lot today. The shitty genie slept today until 4 p.m. The shitty genie is, is still afflicted by the viruses of man. L? <laughs> he came out of a can of monster instead of like a golden lamp. Can't you be a little... Sympathetic? The first round of every shitty genie game, just a test round, okay? Nothing bad will ever happen to you. Well, well, well. Wouldn't that be nice? There is a drawback. There is a downside. But what could it possibly be? Hmm, interesting. This really negates any downside, does it? Do you really believe so? <laughs> then you should vote one. There are some limitations that might come into play. Who knows what could be behind the genie's impenetrable fog. Look, my cur you can't even see my cursor when it goes back there. All right, it seems like you have made your choice. Two thirds of you have opted to take the genie's offer. Nothing bad will ever happen to you. The fog begins to lift. Nothing good will happen either. Nothing happens to you. Nothing will ever happen to you, ever. <laughs> Nothing will ever happen again. Um, W, I guess. <laughs> you didn't lose. It's not an L. That's bad? I, well, you know, it depends on your perspective. Some people have different expectations out of life. I think it's neutral. Things are fine. You just live as an NPC. Listen, this was just the, the baseline, okay? This is the tutorial. Nine more prompts, and now we actually play the game. Good luck. You are Batman! What? You get to be Batman? The Caped Crusade... What <laughs> all the nose? <laughs> you don't want to be Batman? Come on, guys. Think about how cool Batman is, guys. What? Okay, I think people... People are... People literally... They saw through the fog. <laughs> There are so many people in chat that immediately saw through the fog. I've never seen them do that. Chat is very wise, I suppose. You must have defeated a different genie on the way here. <laughs> Congratulations, you won that one. You won that one. I'm not even going to waste your time, okay? Kind of a W depending on the parents. Don't sad post in my chat. <laughs> Next up. You get free cheese for the rest of your life. <laughs> Ooh, delicious cheese. You can sell it. Well, I guess not. I get it doesn't say you make the cheese. Never mind. You cannot sell the cheese. Actually, the genie has decided you 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 may change your vote if you wish. <laughs> you cannot sell the cheese because you get free cheese, which somebody else makes. You don't make the cheese. I'm gonna sell the cheese. Don't! The second you sell the cheese, the genie will come back and slay you with extreme prejudice. What brand is the cheese? All brands can be yours. Cheeses of all types. All right, it seems like most people don't want the cheese. Hmm, cheese is very yummy. Now, what do you guys think is gonna happen here? Do you think you're gonna, I, I wonder, what do you think is gonna happen? Be honest, what do you think is behind the fog? Lactose intolerant? I become a mouse. That's where I was going. I think you might be a mouse. 
Oh no, it's something much more nefarious. For you see, the genie's fog lifts. You can also talk to cheese, and every time you want to eat the cheese, the cheese will beg you not to eat the cheese. W, you won! Good job! You won! Wait, that's cool, L. What do you mean, what? So, that's it. <laughs> For the good of all cheese kind, where did it go? No, 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 you're not getting away. You're not getting away that easily. Who said that? I will defend the cheese. Oh no. I speak for the cheese, for the cheese has no tongues. I can't believe you said that. That's cool. You want to eat the cheese that's telling you not to eat it? That's psychopath behavior. You return to the womb to be reborn again with all your current knowledge and the ability to speak. You get to come out of the womb and be very funny with the doctor. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't go in there if I were you. <laughs> doctor will have a chuckle. Funny talking baby. Well, then, I think I would suggest you hit the one. If you think a funny talking baby is the right choice. Damn, look at all the no's. That's so many no's. Really? I'm not turning into Stewie. All right. Uh, you got it. This would just suck even without the next part. You think so? Being reborn with all your current knowledge? All right, 55% of chat will not take the genie's deal. 45% of you... Are, are furious. You're stomping over sand in the desert. You're furious, kicking it up. I can't believe you wouldn't hit the button. Why wouldn't you take the genie's deal? And so, the fog begins to lift and you find, once you reach 60 years of age, you will be reborn to different parents in the current year. And this continues for all eternity. Guys, I'm gonna keep it $100. That's an L. You got an L. You lost. You lost. You lost on that. That's actually an L. Once you hit 60, I, that's too old. For infinite knowledge, if you turned like 30 or 40, it would be a W. But 60 is old, dude. Once you hit 60, your life's done anyway. You're supposed to retire and move to Florida. Coney, I want to see my children grow. You can. You can. Even if you have a kid at 30, which is kind of late in the grand scheme, like over the course of history, having a kid at 30 is kind of like, you get to see them become 30 and maybe have a kid of their own. Does that mean if you die before 60, you die forever? Uh, you, you, yes. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. And this is why we shook hands, everybody. Because I knew that you would say this was a W no matter what. Listen. I didn't even want to live to 30, and now I'm miserable. Uh, once I hit 60, I would wish I could go back to the womb. Put me back in there. I don't care where I come out. <laughs> I'll come out anywhere on the planet. Just put me somewhere else. Coney is right. Y'all are babies. That's what I'm saying. That's my guy right there. That's my guy right there. Once you turn 60, your contribution to the planet is over. Go get reborn. Start again. It's fine. One L is not a big deal, okay? It's a fat L, but I hope it doesn't scar you for your future choices, okay? You get to see Tupac perform. What could the downside be? One of the greatest artists of a generation. Take it too soon. 90% of your chat don't know Tupac. Well, wouldn't this be a great opportunity to get familiar with his music, his cultural impact? All right, what, uh, most people are saying no. A lot of people don't want to see Tupac, which is crazy because he was a cultural revolutionary, right? One of the greatest poets of our lifetime. Now, what do you think is behind that? What do you think? YouTube exists? That's so sad. He dies again. You die alongside him or kill him. Biggie shoots you. You probably watch him die. <laughs> no, not quite. He's covering Lil Wayne. Yo! <laughs> You could have seen this concert! You missed it! You missed Tupac perform Stun Like My Daddy? Young Stunna, bro, come on. Just imagine Tupac on stage popping this shit. Is this an L or a W? I don't know. I'm gonna let you decide. You think it's a W? Of course you're gonna say it's a W. <laughs> I don't really care. I'll let you win. Fine. Now, you get free hats from any shop. You can have as many free hats as you like. You can wear so many hats, hats of all types. <laughs> Is this just the cheese one again? I actually, you know what? It, if you could talk to the hats, that would be a W because you have a little friend on your head all the time. It's like Cappy. It's not like you're eating them, right? We're going to be bald, you think? 
You think that's the take, uh, the the downside here? Hmm. Can we sell them? I'll even let you sell the hats. Are they official Coney hats? They could be any kind of hat you want. Seems like most people are down with this idea. What's the drawback? What will you do with all of the hats that you have when you smell bad? <laughs> L! <laughs> you took the deal. You shook my hand. <laughs> You can't get it off. You can't get the smell off. You smell bad forever. <laughs> L. It's an L. Don't try to fight me on this. You smell bad and you can't get it out. Sell the hats, buy deodorant. It doesn't work. <laughs> no amount of showers or baths will heal your predicament. You stink now and forever. Eternal stench. I hope the hats were worth it, geek. What if my hats smell good? There's the rest of you under them. The hat itself cannot make up for the rest of you. With infinite money, though, you can buy friends. I've, I, I, I've seen enough tweets to know that's not the case. <laughs> the guy that owns Twitter would beg to differ, I think. Very sad. <laughs> four more. Four more. You have to go four more without one L. Oh. You are super awesome. Are you super awesome? Do you want to be super awesome? Coney, what does this mean? Hey, you get to be super awesome. Don't you want to? Everybody wants to be super awesome, right? Please, I need this. Chatters are desperately clicking the screen. <laughs> People on YouTube are desperate. They weren't even here for it. They're trying to hit the button. Please, God, let me be super awesome. Let me in. This is a two for sure. Well, it seems like your peers and cohorts seem to disagree. Seems like chat wishes to be super awesome. And who could blame them? Being objectively awesome is cool. That's what I'm saying. This is a genie that makes you objectively super awesome. You take the deal, you shake the genie's hand, just like this, and pow! You suddenly grow sunglasses, and if you're bald, you get hair again. Uh, and on top of the hair is a really cool hat, and it's backwards. You get a leather jacket and a bitchin' convertible behind you. You're super awesome now. However, haters get jealous and will try and kill you. This happens anyway. This is gonna happen anyway. W, it's a W. You got a W, you won that one. Congratulations. You're gonna have haters anyway, bro. Already happens on a daily basis. Hey, are you okay? I'm gonna try to kill you on a daily basis. How many haters do you have? Do you have haters or the Federal Bureau of Investigations? <laughs> Listen, haters are gonna hate you no matter what. So if you get to be super awesome, while you do it, sick. And hey, the more awesome you are, the more haters you get, right? Huh? Am I right, fellas? Leave a like below if you agree with this. Don't dislike it. I don't want you to hate the video. I want you to like the video. Like the video below if you agree with the genie on that one. I, got, I feel like it was a bad CTI. I got that backwards. You can have any Pokemon you want. Any Pokemon. Now keep in mind, this doesn't say everybody gets a Pokemon. No, you get a Pokemon, just you. Do I get to eat them? Uh, well, you only get one of them, so I don't think you should, unless you really want to know what Tauros tastes like. What about that new bread dog one? I feel like it would be such a struggle not to eat that dog. <laughs> if I had a loaf of bread following me around every day of my life, eventually I would get curious. I don't think I would eat the dough one. <laughs> Imagine, I don't think I would eat the raw dough, but as soon as he evolves, I'm eating him. <laughs> He's <just> like... <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Fido is evolving. Will you let it evolve? Yeah. Yeah, 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 let it evolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it evolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's evolving. Here it comes. Yeah, yeah, here it comes. As soon as you... Ah, blah, 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 blah. Rip off its ear instantly. <laughs> Just the moment it gains sentience. The moment. The moment it knows. <laughs> okay, you can have any Pokemon you want. Seems like most people would say yes. You would take the genie's offer. And that Pokemon spawns right next to your side. What did you pick, chat? Chat, what did you pick? What Pokemon do you have at your side right now? Blissey, Weepabelle, Fampy, Arceus, Jirachi, Glaceon, Ditto, 
Bulbasaur. Okay. So you guys got a lot of um, a lot of Pokemon that run the gamut, right? Big, small, all over the place. However, I regret to inform you, you don't get a Pokeball. You have to walk everywhere with that Pokemon, and you can't put it anywhere. And you know what? I would have to say... I think that's an L, dude. I think it's an L. I think that's an L. Because I saw people say Moltres. You can't just have a Moltres flying around. The government's going to shoot it down. You think the government's just going to let you have a giant flying fling bird? Not my problem. The government's going to make it your problem. Yes. I chose God and he can fly. You can Okay, if your God is a Pokemon, it's not God anymore. The genie concedes that this is really dependent on the Pokemon that you choose. The genie will concede that those who picked Squirtle or Eevee or anything like that, their Piplup, it is a W. And so the genie will strike this one for the record. However, the genie never gives without taking in return. The genie has lowered the prize pool to 10 cents. Literal scam? <laughs> you lost. Be thankful that the genie was here in your time of need. You become the most popular person in the world. Now, this is similar to being super awesome, right? Everybody will love you. God damn, what? Huh? That seems mad annoying. Nope, that's Elon Musk. Guys, you're going to be so popular. You're going to be so popular. Why don't you want to be popular? Are you kidding me? Chad, are you shy? I think you're shy. I think being popular is pretty cool. Yeah, fine, you don't want to take the genie's offer. Who gives a shit? What do you think is behind the fog? FBI most wanted list? Oh, that's a good one. You're like popular with the uh, with the FBI. Die, 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 no pussy. Hungry box? Close, but not quite. All right, you have not taken the genie's deal. You swat away his hand. Say, no, genie. I don't want to be popular. And the genie lifts the fog. Every night at 2.30 a.m., you turn into a potato until the sun rises. Now, I'm going to keep it $100 with you, chat. I think this is a massive L for you. Because you would have been a wear potato. I think this is a massive L. From 2.30 to like 6 in the summer, you just can't be seen by people. This is just Shrek. But you're the most popular person in the world. You could be a billionaire. You can never marry. Yes, you can! You just tell them I turn into a potato at 2.30. I feel like being a wear potato is not that bad. I think you fucked up bad. I would want to be the wear potato. If I was the most popular person in the world, popular people don't want you turning into a potato at the club. You're already popular. You don't need to go to the club to be popular. You go to the club and then at like 1.45, you're like, all right, man, I got to go back to my room. <laughs> Nobody's going to question you. What if my dog gets hungry at night? Close the door. Your dog can't open doors, yeah. can it? My wife strung cats would <laughs> bake and eat me as a snack. My wife does that too. <laughs> I think I would die too, actually. She would, she would put the baked potato in the oven and then leave it on and go back to bed. <laughs> you would come out not even edible. You'd just be burnt. If you're the most popular person, then paparazzi would discover your potato secret instantly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess that's true. What happens on airplanes? <laughs> you're the most popular person in the world. You take private jets. You don't fly, coach. You are insane, Coney. What the fuck are you talking about? I can't believe you guys wouldn't take this deal. Hold on. I'm hitting the button. D guys, most people would. Whatever, the fog goes back up. Hold on. Let me see this last one. You guys already lost twice, but... <laughs> but the genie will give you one more shot. I'll give you one more shot, okay? This is the genie's final offer. You get to live on the moon and live in an empire. This is not moon music. <laughs> We've gone from the desert to the moon. The genie whisks you away to outer space. He gives you a helmet first so you don't die. And he shows you the vastness of the planet. Planet? Of the, the rock? <laughs> the moon? Uh, he shows you the moon. And he says, look. 
All of this can be yours. You can live here with your very own empire. How advanced are the moon people? I mean, they made it to the moon. You're living on the moon. I kind of like trees too much. You don't want to live on the moon? You don't want to live on the fucking moon. Are you serious? Do you? Kind of. I would like to live on the moon. I think that'd be kind of cool. Well, it seems as though uh, you've opted not to go to the moon. And with that, the genie wipes away the moon empire. He says, okay, all for nothing. I suppose it just wasn't meant to be. However, you would have lived with the astronauts from Moonbase Alpha and your leader would have been John Madden. These assholes don't get anything done. You won! You beat the genie! Congratulations! You won! You beat the genie! You don't want to be on the moon with these guys. You're not going to get anything done. Congratulations, Chad! You've defeated the genie. He retreats back into the monster camp and you kick that shit across the desert. You won! Hooray! The genie has been defeated. Congratulations, chat. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Subscribe. Remember to like the video. Bye, YouTube. Goodbye. Bye. That's you guys.